What is reason? What is reason in and of itself? There are two ways to answer this question. On the one hand, we have the common view, mainly from epistemology, that reason is the system of thought being logic, mathematics, physics, etc. And so in this sense, reasoning is the passive activity of applying pre-established concepts to the world and conforming the world to our ideas. However, in order to first conform our understanding to the world, we must establish a proper worldview, i.e. ontology, about the nature of being itself. On the other hand, reason as an ontological principle goes beyond our mind and its ability to establish facts about the world. Instead, rather, reason is adopted as a principle in the world, meaning that the world itself is rational, living, and being. In this way, our understanding is not detached from the world. The common epistemological view is a fallacy because we are not just simply the outside external observer receiving knowledge about the world by being divorced from it. But rather, our mind is the very eternal, essential nature of the universe itself as a being. The universe as a being is our mind and thoughts. In order to understand how our mind constitutes the essence of the universe as alive or conscious, we first have to work backwards and reverse the assumption that divorces ourselves from nature into the categories that humans and life forms are living while general nature at large is assumed to be lifeless and inorganic. The latter proposition is a limited abstraction about the true scale of reality and the existence we found ourselves apprehending only small aspects, only small aspects. The materialistic ontology assumes that the universe is an inanimate and inorganic reality, while at the same time, living forms on earth are divided from overall nature at large, they are only aspects of the universe considered to be alive, free, and organic. These views are improper ontologies about the nature of being, that we automatically presuppose because we are told they are true from a young age, i.e. the ontology we learned in school. The, epistem the epistemologies do not truly answer, nor does it indicate what our systems of thought are based on, or even what they are in and of themselves as aspects of nature. It simply makes use of them, takes for granted their existence, while ignoring the need to inquire about their origins. For it seems that mathematics, like any empirical science, is an abstraction of something else more fundamental than itself, even though it is universally true in and of itself. For example, mathematics requires logic and logic is an aspect of a living observer. Moreover, mathematics must always be applied in the real world to real objects in 